All right, you guys, today I'm gonna share with you my number one tip on how to hit your macros right on every single time. I know, it sounds a little crazy, maybe even a little bit extreme, right? But, okay, here's what I hear from people. Here's the feedback you guys are giving me, okay? I'm hearing that, number one, you have a hard time getting in enough protein, right? Number two, your carbs and or your fats are always a little bit too high. That's usually the problem and I hear ya. Same thing happens to me until I figure out this tip. And it's actually a very, very simple tip. Are you guys ready for it? Coming at you right now. The tip is to make sure you plan your macros in advance. Seriously, you guys, no one, like not even me, not even, the macro queen of the universe, no one, okay, maybe the macro queen of the universe can do it. No one is going to hit their macros right on if you just wing it throughout the day. If you just wake up and you're like, what do I feel like right now? Okay, let's track that. A couple hours later, what do I feel like right now? Okay, let's track that. You're gonna get to the end of the day and you're gonna be like over on carbs, right at your fats and way under on protein or something that's gonna be like really, really hard for you to create a meal out of and stay on track. So here's what you gotta do. Every single day, this is what I do at dinner. I lay on the couch, the couch that's right over there, I lay on it, and I think, okay, what's in my fridge? What needs to be eaten? And what do I feel like right now? A lot of times, it's some of the same meals that I had today, so I can just go and copy those straight over. But you're gonna plan out your meals for tomorrow. Okay, my pre-workout meal is going to be this. My post-workout meal is going to be this. I have leftovers of my lunch from today, so I'm gonna have that same lunch meal again, and it's going to be this. So you're gonna plan out your meals. Okay, then you're gonna look at your targets, or you're gonna look at your, your macros. Oh my gosh, I am like 30 grams too low in protein. What am I gonna do? Well, you're gonna go back to your meals and you're gonna say, okay, my lunch has three ounces of chicken. I'm bump it to four, four ounces of chicken. Okay, my breakfast has a half cup of egg whites. Bump it to three fourths a cup of egg whites. And then maybe you have a protein shake mid-afternoon where you're using one scoop of protein powder. You use a scoop and a quarter. Oh my gosh, what do you know? All those things took you right up to your protein target. Remember, plus or minus about five grams is totally fine. And then you notice that your carbs are over. So you're gonna go back to your carb servings. Okay, I had um, a, I had two cups of berries built in there. I'm gonna drop back down to one cup, okay? Still a good amount of berries. And maybe you had two slices of bread with a sandwich for lunch and you can cut it back to one slice and do a half sandwich or do an open face or something. And what do you know, you got your carbs right. So you just keep on playing with your serving sizes until your macros are right on. Then your macros are right on. The next day, this is the hard part, you have to actually stick to it. So you stick to the plan, make the plan, stick to the plan, and you won't go wrong. That is my secret slash not so secret tip to hitting your macros 100% every single time, all right? That is your Fit Tip Friday for today. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week.